Hi yogis and welcome to my channel, JJRO Digital Nomad and Travel channel. My name is Julia and today I'm bringing to you the review of the yoga quest from um, Mind Valley. And I'm super excited because uh, if you have fo been following my journey, then you might already know that I'm a yogi lover and I particularly picked that course because I feel everyone who's putting some effort in and creating such a course as um, well this serves a little bit of attention and uh, like with all the other mind valley courses that i've seen so far particularly with this one the yoga quest eh, i think they did a really good job it's uh, again every single video is very professional and also it's interesting how they structured it it's not your common online course where you simply get some yoga classes thrown at you or some videos about uh, yoga classes it's actually well it's twofold so first of all um i today i want to start with the things that i didn't like about this uh, quest and that is um since i have been practicing yoga now for um, a bit over 10 years i don't feel like the, the the videos were deep enough for me to actually call it my daily practice so what i did after the course of the um after a while into the course i added them to my daily practices this way i felt a little more um, intense and connected to my actually my workout and my exercise my mental and meditation work that i'm doing uh, already on a daily basis but saying this that's just me and i know not um i don't don't know where you are at in your yoga journey so you might be uh, a beginner and just tapping into yoga or you might be advanced but still need some guidance and i think this quest from uh, mind valley is really good for any stage and like I said just say, said if you advance like me then simply use it as some inspiration and some uh, addition to your uh, personal practice that you already have established to your routine so to say and this way uh, I find it really really helpful and as a beginner again I, I really recommend doing this quest because it is um, outlined over 21 days so within three weeks you have um, a, a, var a variation of different yoga te teachers that pre present to you different yoga styles and this uh, i really find interesting because you might think uh, yoga is just one one simple way of vinyasas and sun salutations and uh, simple um, stretching uh, exercise but it's not there are so many different types and variations of yoga and it also always depends on your teacher so i like uh, about this quest that they actually have eight different teachers um, who are presenting on uh, and rotating their their yoga classes with you so there's also a downside of course because you might not like all the teachers or not every one of them and some of the days you might think oh i don't like the uh, today's uh, class but like i said use it as an inspiration use it as an add-on and you can always um, be open-minded and simply learn some some new yoga styles that you might have not come across uh, up until to now uh, today then it is also not a course um, where you have to show up every single day on your mat and then you do your exercise and, and that's it um, it's actually structured like this that you also aside from the physical exercises you will also get some guidance towards the inner work they say they call it work out and work in so um, cecilia she is the host of this quest and she uh, talks about um, how you can shift your mindset and become aware of certain uh, um, actions uh, throughout the day and um, yeah, she reminds you that yoga is actually uh, starts from within and starts with inner work and uh, is a combination of both the exercise and the inner work. So it's a more holistic way of looking at 
uh, yoga. And that is a, a big plus because I think this way people who are interested in learning about yoga, they have it all in one place. So they did a great job of combining that and giving, yeah, like I said, a complete look at uh, this uh, of yoga as a, as a field. And what I also like is, again, like in all the Mind Valley quests, you have the opportunity to reach out to your community, to other people who are going through these 21 days with you. So if you're someone like me, who sometimes um, is a bit lazy and doesn't want to show up on the map, it's always nice to know that there are other people who are struggling with the same things like you and who might say, uh, skip a, a class one day. But since you know that there are A, your instructors there and B, the people in the, in the Facebook community that you can reach out, um, it kind of some sort of um, gives you a kick a kick in the butt <laughs> and uh, helps you to be more disciplined than you might be when you do um, practice yoga on your own. So this is a big plus I find. And what I also find uh, very interesting about this um, Mind Valley quest is that uh, Cecilia is also doing um, in some in some of the days she's uh, showing up um, and giving you the opportunity to uh, jump on a live call with her. So, that, so if you have any questions, then you can ask her these through the Zoom call and through these uh, Q and A live call. And I find this again a nice gimmick, a nice feature that they added to this um, quest. And I think this makes it also unique and special. Maybe it differentiates from other online courses that you have seen around there. And again, I think it's a, a, an absolute yes from my side. If you're asking me, should I take this course? And I think three weeks is a, is a comprehensible time span. It's not too long, it's not too short. It will get you going, it will get you into the mood of a daily practice. So maybe it is your kickstart to integrate yoga as a daily routine from after completing the course, it surely helps you to set your mind and reset your mind and become aware of certain habits that you're having. And it connects you to other like-minded people. You might find friends out there. You might get inspired by their journey and their stories. And it is, um, it's worth every single minute that you're spending there. And um, again, it might be the, to sum it up again, I, I will, give you a quick uh, roundup again. So the videos might be a little short if you're looking for a very in-depth daily yoga routine, but I would suggest that you simply including them into your daily routine or establish an additional routine aside from those um, uh, yoga sequences that are offered by Mind Valley's Quest. And plus you might not like every single teacher uh, throughout this quest but it it shows you a different well it shows you the different types of yogas that are out there and it uh, helps you to get to know them uh, in a very entertaining and playful way so be open-minded try it out why not it's really great a great way of learning about yoga my favorite part was when um, uh, those days when Cecilia is taking you on this inner work uh, process and she uh, talks about her approaches of how to look at things and gives you some tips and um, yeah, looks at yoga from a different perspective and uh, at life actually at uh, uh, your habits uh, from, from a different angle. So I really enjoyed the quest. I think uh, you can enjoy it too if you're um, dedicated and you commit yourself to 21 days and um, I'm, I'm definitely sh convinced that you will I'm very convinced that you will have some sort of transformation that you will notice a change in your your physical body but maybe also up here in the head so good luck with your journey let me know in the comments below a if you like the video and b if you're jumping on that uh, quest and try it out yourself and let, let me know later on uh, after you completed the quest how you liked it and what you liked best. So that's it. That was my review about Mind Valley's yoga quest. Uh, I hope you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. 
and you will get regular videos and updates uh, on my digital nomad lifestyle and on uh, all the online courses that I'm taking. I'm currently on a mission, so stay tuned for more reviews like this. If you like them, give it a thumbs up. Thanks guys and have a great day. See you next time.